Okay, guys, a little added bonus. You can practice on your own in the comfort of your own home. We can talk about getting a broad sword. You can, remember we put the weapon back in there, but we can talk about getting a broad sword. Um, and I wanna show you some basic movements in the broad sword. You don't have to have the tassels. I put these tassels on myself because the tassels are really important as they say when you would cut the person, the blood will pour down and you know, it would be in the tassels. But at the same time, the tassels confuse your opponent. While you concentrate on the tassels, you're being cut up. All right, so let's first understand that this is how we hold the sword. You should stop touching the blade. Every time I turn around, I see people touching the blade. You don't hold the blade. Respect the weapon like it's a real weapon. Don't, res you know, don't play around. I mean, I know it, it's flimsy, but if I hit somebody with this, with enough penetration behind it, it's going to crack the skin. The same with the butt end, okay? So let's understand that. So let's go through the first basic movements of the form. All right, we're gonna start from here with our hands behind our back, get at ease, head down. Head comes up, step in. We go up, palm, pop. Turn your palm down. Pull it down as your hand goes up. Bring this down and your foot comes up. Point your toe over your knee. Crane stance. Arm is up. Step down. Block. See the block? In a twist stance. Step out. Strike. Shibu stance. Okay? Now I jump straight up. Hit my foot. Heard the sound. Step back. Half marble stance. Look how my hand is behind my back. Perfect alignment. You're going to do that again. Just going to give you that so you can practice that. Me, I want a real weapon. Stop making excuses. And stop accepting people going along with your excuses. You manifest what the excuse produce. Crap. So once again, starting from here, just like if you was in a competition. This is your relax. This is saying I'm ready. Here I go. Palm up, thumb is tucked down. Boom, like a leaf. Turn, pull down, press up. Flow, crane stance, balance. Block, twist stance. Strike, kick, sound, half marble. You just want to do the movements. I want to perfect the movements because how I practice and what I do with this when I'm all alone is how I perform for any level. To me, the most ultimate is to be able to press, practice it on my own so I can express myself. I can experience what it's like moving meditation. The joy of going to a tournament or just practicing and being lost in the kata, that's what's lost. Cause now you practice in the kata so you can get a belt. You practice in the kata so you can impress someone. I practice the kata so I can be happy inside. Do those movements right, then I'll show you the next movements. The full form is on the university. And if it's not, just yet, it's coming. Took out the weapons because people disrespect the weapons. You take, you take it for a joke, no. Respect the weapon. Stop taking it for granted. When I was a little kid, I had to make my first broadsword with a piece of stick. Respect the weapon. Stop being disrespectful to your weapon, to your uniform, to your art as a whole.